Nigeria, we see that upside momentum on the Nigerian Stock Exchange um, waning a little bit today. We saw the NSE index falling marginally today about 0.04% to 33,460 points on the back of the losses we saw this time in the likes of Nestle, Presco, Guaranteed Trust Bank and Union Bank. Of course, some profit taking after the massive rally we've seen most of this year. Moving on to the fixed income space, we did see an auction of treasury bills recently, and that's where I'm going to start with my guest, Tina Mbaku, fund manager at Stamig IBC, standing by to give us her thoughts on that uh, T-bill auction. The, of course, the results came out yesterday, Tina. Can you just give us your thoughts on what we're seeing? Because this is another T-bill auction that we're seeing lower yields across the board. Yes, th thank you, Wale. Uh, we saw uh, a decline in the T-bills rates. In the auction rate, we saw the 91 days uh, print at 10.32. Uh, we saw the 182 days uh, close at 10.5. And we also saw the 364 days close at 10. 10.60. It's expected. The market is already aligned to this current trend. Yeah. Before now, the secondary market was trading around the, that current level in view of the increased liquidity in the system. You know, so it's just uh, we should continue to see this trend. So it's just expected. But ma the market generally expected the decline in, in, in the treasury bills rate. All right, so in this context, how do you invest in the fixed income markets? Of course, much lower yields in T-bills. We've seen yields come down quite a bit in bonds as well. What's your investment strategy when you look at the uh, yield curve right now? Uh, in view of the current uh, low interest rates, uh, the, the yields are still currently attractive to foreign investors. Uh, because we've seen the, uh, cur the current yield that we're seeing in treasury bills is still attractive when compared to other other sub-Sahara African countries, what we're seeing. Nigerians yield is still very is still very much attractive. And the investment strategy strictly will will still continue to play in the long end of the yield curve. Mm -hmm. Maybe concentrate on the on the run uh, seven, ten and twenty years bond, which is still currently trading at this level that we're seeing. But we also increase our exposure to state and corporate government bond that will give us attractive uh, yield pickup maybe 2% or 3% higher than what we're currently seeing in the FGN market. But in the general note, maybe we'll just look for securities that are less riskier and that will give us attractive yield pickup. You just talked about moving on to state bonds and perhaps corporate bonds, but are those bonds available? Some people talk about liquidity being an issue if you're looking to go into that space. Currently, we, we are seeing a lot of state bonds available in the market. Currently trading above maybe like... Um, to uh, maybe like 2% above uh, what is currently op op obtainable in the uh, FGN market. They are there, but it's just that um, we're seeing increased, uh, increased demand for these securities, mm. you know, and since they are, they are quite attractive more than what is obtainable in the FGN market, we still continue to see people looking for securities that will offer attractive yield level, attractive yield pickup, other than what is obtainable in the market. Because currently we're seeing a lot of activities on the, on the run seven, 10 years, you know, but in, on a general note, we, we expected this decline in yield and market is, is slightly adjusting to it. What are your thoughts though? How, low, how much lower do you think yields could go? So, some people suggest that, um, of course, when you begin to look at the inflation number, yes, everybody is expecting that inflation will come lower, but at the same time, they're still firmly in double digits at this time. Those yields, however, are now moving closer to single digits. Do you think we're going to see single digit yields? How much lower, Wally? I'm not sure, but we expect this current decline to continue to increase in view of, like you said, in view of the expected decline in inflation rate and um, likely um, moderated NPR rates. You know, we just feel that this current trend will continue. And also in view of the increased liquidity we're seeing in the system, co coupled with uh, increased uh, foreign portfolio investments. Like I said, the current yield are still quite attractive and the market are quite attractive to foreign investors. I mean. And the market is aligned to it. Currently, we saw the treasury bills and bond markets rally when the auction result came out. Mm. We saw increased activity in the medium term treasury bills. And we saw that the markets are generally aligned to this current low yield in the market. 